Praise God, I'm Samantha Nyangoma. I pray from Christ's life. My pastor is Prophet Alpha Kali. Um, I'm here to talk about my testimony of getting healed. I was healed in Christ's life church. Uh, I was raped in 2019 by a friend and uh, I got it. I, uh, I was read by a friend uh, by that time. So when I went home for when I went home for a Christmas, you know, my family as family they know how you treat yourself, how everyone you, they be knowing how you take your souls. So they saw me changing, they saw me getting sick sick too much. Um, my mom for more details, she, she wanted to know what's wrong with my daughter. She took me in the hospital. We went for checkup, and she told the doctor to check everything on my body. Uh, the doctor came and told us that I'm having HIV. I'm HIV positive. I remember I fainted. I after I woke up, I found myself on the bed, and my mom. She never said anything. She never quarreled at me. She never fought. And she just kept quiet. Just I saw her in tears. I was just in shock. At that moment, I felt I'm alone. At that moment, I remembered the much love they had for me. The advices they always gave me. That how comes I was the most loved child of my father. So my father, I remember, had uh, a disease of heart attack and pressure. So my mom was telling me, Kat, how am I going to tell your dad that you're HIV positive? I was also, I was shocked. I remember I spent one month, I spent one month not talking, just quiet, just listening. Everyone was abusing me. Everyone was against me. I surprised them among all the kids. They knew Samantha can never do this. So one day, because it was in the whole days of December, I felt like to stop, to stop everything and just leave the world. I went, there is a forest behind our home. I went in the forest. I bought my good rope, the first suicide I've ever made. I tried suicide five times. I tried to kill myself five times after being rejected, after the friends go go from me, after being alone, the family is not with me. Everywhere I'm, I'm going, they say, ah, ah, they try to avoid you. I was, we have rooms, they are boys' quarters. So they made me go in the quarter, a, a quarter room. So me, they separated me. That thing made me feel like I'm no longer part of the family. The most hurting thing, my dad, he died on the 25th of Christmas. Uh, it was on 24th, he called me and said, my daughter, what you did, it has taken me far. In main, in, among all my children, I never expected you to do something, but you did. The next morning, my dad died. Everyone was against me. I'm the one who has killed my father. I'm the one who has killed dad. I'm the one who's the problem. He left in the will. What, what made me, I was feeling, hating myself. But what made me feel more weak, actually weakest in the will, he said, I don't want Samantha. I no longer want Samantha as my daughter. Let her go and find where she, she's going to go, over where. I felt alone, I felt sad, but no matter how mad they were, no matter how my mom, my mom kept quiet, he, she had nothing to say. She was moving with what other people were, were telling her. So one day, as I, as I, I came back to Kampala, from Viret to Kampala, when I came back, I started to have the dreams, the visions about angels. 
ah, I can call them my angels. I started seeing babies. A baby, I started with a baby angel who was telling me, why can't you look for a man of God? Then I woke up in that dream. From that moment, it's when I was going to upgrade my campus, my degree, because I had finished my diploma. So, but I thank God, even if that I felt rejected, they continued to pay for my tuition. They wanted me to first finish my education, and they do as the will said. The will my father left behind was like, we reject Samantha and she's no longer part of our family but my brothers no matter how they were pissed with me they they kept pushing up and supporting me somehow so i ended up in coming in Entebbe. when i reached in Entebbe, i was praying from a certain church where i was praying from but I would get these visions, angel telling me, angels telling me, look for Prophet Alpha, look for Prophet Alpha. The moment I came, my first year, I came to Okumba University, that's where I'm, I'm studying from. Then I was, uh, they call it Jack. Jack, uh, I joined that thing. I was not interested, but my spirit was like, let me join. I got connected to a friend called Ricky. Ricky was a church member of Christ Life Ministry. So I had to look for her. Uh, I tried to look for her, I tried to look for her. That's how I started to be her friend. Then she told me, she directed me where to come and find Prophet Alpha. I came, I, it was on Sunday evening. I found them in the MSS. They are in class praying. After the prayers, I went to man of God. He gave me a prophetic word and he said, Samatha, I'm seeing tablets on your table. I'm seeing many tablets. So I see tablets you want like you want to kill yourself. The moment he said that I, I, I got in shock. After getting in shock, I, the power hit me down. So afterwards, he told me, he gave me a book. Because he told me, I see you love God and God loves you. Yes, he loves you and he knows you. The moment he said that, in my heart, I asked myself, if he loves me, if he knows me, why is it that I'm not getting healed? But the moment I was asking myself in that heart, Prophet Alpha was knowing what I was thinking. He said, I'm seeing the tablets on that table. You want to kill yourself. Don't try to do it. God loves you. After I started to follow what Papa told me, already the Holy Spirit had already told him, this is going to be my daughter. He took me, he gave me that love I've never got. The long time love of long ago I never got. I started to cry because of too much happiness. He took care of me from that day. Then I started, he gave me a book to read in Luke chapter 5, verse 1, starting from verse 1 to the end. Uh, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 up to 11. I started reading that book from that day. For two months, I read that book. The book was about faith. The book changed my, my life. And Papa would call me, are you reading my daughter? Are you reading my book? And I want you to follow my summons. I would follow the summons. I, the summons I never knew about. My life was changed. I became new. I started to see things changing. I got favor. I got blessing. I got every type of happiness. I started to see I have new friends. I got friends and I thank God for that. Uh, then I called father, my dad. I called daddy. I want to try something. They was like, you can it's you try. Because every time I would tell him, when when are we going to do it? He was like, let's give it time. Let's give it time. 
So I would ask him, can I go and check? Can I go for a test in the clinic? Can I go and uh, check me? They was like, no, you wait, you wait. Be reading the book, be reading the verse, and I will do as he told me. So it was one day when I said, Papa, I want to test myself. I was like, okay, go ahead. I tried it. We are, um, we are on online, on WhatsApp. I tried it. I was showing him every details. Then we tried it. It was like, let's wait. We were happy. We were very happy when it came out negative. We tried many times. It kept coming negative. Papa was so happy. I thank God, I really thank God for changing my life. From that moment, I learned what faith is. From that moment, I started to love God so, so deeply. From that moment changed, I started to see things and my life has never been the same again.